Brought to you by wikivd.com William Moulton Marston William Moulton Marston, also known by the pen name Charles Moulton, was an American psychologist, inventor of an early prototype of the lie detector self-help author, and comic book writer who created the character Wonder Woman. Two women, his wife Elizabeth Holloway Marston and partner Olive Byrne, both greatly influenced Wonder Woman's creation. He was inducted into the Comic Book Hall of Fame in 2006. Early life and career Marston was born in the Cliftondale section of Saugus, Massachusetts, the son of Annie Dalton and Frederick William Marston. Marston was educated at Harvard University, graduating Phi Beta Kappa and receiving his B.A. in 1915 and L.L.B. in 1918, and a Ph.D. in psychology in 1921. After teaching at American University in Washington, D.C., and Tufts University in Medford, Massachusetts, Marston traveled to Universal Studios in California in 1929 where he spent a year as Director of Public Services. Marston and lived in an extended relationship with his wife Elizabeth Holloway Marston and Olive Byrne both of whom embodied the feminism of the day. Psychologist and Inventor Marstinen was the creator of the systolic blood pressure test, which became one component of the modern polygraph invented by John Augustus Larson in Berkeley, California. Marston's wife Elizabeth Holloway Marston suggested a connection between emotion and blood pressure to William observing that W. Hen she got mad or excited. Her blood pressure seemed to climb. Although Elizabeth is not listed as Marston's collaborator in his early work Lam Matt, and others refer directly and indirectly to Elizabeth's own work on her husband's research. She also appears in a picture taken in his laboratory in the 1920s. Marston set out to commercialize Larson's invention of the polygraph, when he subsequently embarked on a career in entertainment and comic book writing and appeared as a salesman in ads for Gillette razors using a polygraph motif. From his psychological work Marston became convinced that women were more honest than men in certain situations and could work faster and more accurately. During his lifetime Marston championed the latent abilities and causes of the women of his day. Marston was also a writer of essays in popular psychology. In 1928 he published Emotions of Normal People which elaborated the DISC theory. Marston viewed people behaving along two axes with their attention being either passive or active, depending on the individual's perception of his or her environment as either favorable or antagonistic, by placing the axes at right angles four quadrants form with each describing a behavioral pattern. Marston posited that there is a masculine notion of freedom that is inherently anarchic and violent and an opposing feminine notion based on love allure that leads to an ideal state of submission to loving authority. In 1929, he wrote on the blossoming men's rights movement as a newspaper columnist. Creation on October 25, 1940, an interview conducted by former student Olive Byrne was published in the Family Circle, in which Marston said that he saw great educational potential in comic books. The interview caught the attention of comics publisher Max Gaines, who hired Marston as an educational consultant for national periodicals and all American publications, two of the companies that would later merge to form DC Comics. In the early 1940s the DC Comics line was dominated by superpower-endowed male characters such as the Green Lantern and Superman as well as Batman. With his high-tech gadgets, according to the fall 2001 issue of the Boston University alumni magazine it was the idea of Marston's wife. Elizabeth Holloway Marston to create a female superhero. 
Marston recommended an idea for or a new kind of superhero, one who would conquer not with fists of firepower but with love. Fine said Elizabeth, but make her a woman. Marston and introduced the idea to Max Gaines, co-founder with Jack Leibowitz of all American publications. Given the go-ahead, Marston developed Wonder Woman basing her character on the unconventional liberated, powerful modern women of his day. Marston's pseudonym Charles Moulton combined his own and Gaines' middle names. In a 1943 issue of the American scholar Marston wrote, Not even girls want to be girls so long as our feminine archetype lacks force strength and power. Not wanting to be girls, they don't want to be tender, submissive, peace-loving as good women are. Women's strong qualities have become despised because of their weakness. The obvious remedy is to create a feminine character with all the strength of Superman plus all the allure of a good and beautiful woman. In 2017 a majority of Marston's personal papers arrived at the Schlesinger Library at the Radcliffe Institute for Advanced Study. This collection helps to tell the backstory of Wonder Woman including his unorthodox personal life with two idealistic and strong women Olive Byrne and Elizabeth Marston with a connection to Margaret Sanger, one of the most influential feminists of the 20th century. The Life Behind Wonder Woman. Harvard Gazette. September 7, 2017. Development. Marston's character was a native of an all-female utopia of Amazons who became a crime-fighting U.S. government agent using her superhuman strength and agility and her ability to force villains to submit and tell the truth by binding them with her magic lasso. Her appearance was believed by some to be based somewhat on Olive Byrne and her heavy bronze bracelets were inspired by the jewelry bracelets worn by Byrne after her name Suprema was replaced with Wonder Woman which was a popular term at the time that described women who were exceptionally gifted. The character made her debut in All-Star Comics in December 1941. Wonder Woman next appeared in Sensation Comics and six months later Wonder Woman debuted. Except for four months in 1986, the series has been in print ever since. The stories were initially written by Marston and illustrated by newspaper artist Harry Peter. During his life Marston had written many articles and books on various psychological topics. But his last six years of writing were devoted to his comics creation. Much of his creation of Wonder Woman's world was composed of allegories of his theories and the happenings in his own life. Wonder Woman herself was an allegory, for Marston's ideal concept of a love leader. William Moulton Marston died of cancer on May 2, 1947 in Rye, New York, seven days shy of his 54th birthday. After his death Elizabeth and Olive continued to live together until Olive's death in 1990 aged 86. Elizabeth died in 1993 aged 100. In 1985 Marston was posthumously named as one of the honorees by DC Comics in the company's 50th anniversary publication 50 who made DC great. Themes William Moulton Marston's philosophy of diametric opposites has bled into his design of his wonder. Woman mythology. This theme of diametrics took the form of his emphasis on certain masculine and feminine configurations as well as dominance and submission. Marston's Wonder Woman is an early example of bondage themes that were entering popular culture in the 1930s. Physical and mental submission appears again and again throughout Marston's comics work with Wonder Woman and her criminal opponents frequently being tied up or otherwise restrained, and her Amazonian sisters engaging in frequent wrestling and bondage play. These elements were softened by later writers of the series, who dropped such characters as the Nazi-like blonde female slavery Riva completely. 
Despite her having formed the original villainy ink of Wonder Woman's enemies though Marston had described female nature as being more capable of submission emotion in his other writings and interviews he referred to submission as a noble practice and did not shy away from the sexual implications saying, one of the purposes of these bondage depictions was to induce eroticism in readers as a part of what he called sex love training. Through his Wonder Woman comics he aimed to condition readers to becoming more readily accepting of loving submission to loving authorities rather than being so assertive with their own destructive egos. About male readers he later wrote, give them an alluring woman stronger than themselves to submit to and they'll be proud to become her willing slaves. Marston combined these themes with others including restorative and transformative justice, rehabilitation, regret and their roles in civilization. These appeared often in his depiction of the near-ideal Amazon civilization of Paradise Island and especially its Reform Island penal colony which played a central role in many stories and was the loving alternative to retributive justice of the world run by men. These themes are particularly evident in his last story in which prisoners freed by evilists who have responded to Amazon rehabilitation and now have good dominance, submission stop her and restore the Amazons to power. Some of these themes continued on in Silver Age characters, who may have been influenced by Marston, notably Saturn Girl and Saturn Queen, who are also from Saturn, are also clad in tight dark red bodysuits, are also blonde or red haired, and also have telepathic powers. Stories involving the latter have been especially focused on the emotions involved in changing. Sides from evil to good as were stories from Green Lantern's Blackest Night, with its emotional spectrum which was likely influenced by Marston's research into emotions. Wonder Woman's Golden Lasso, and Venus Girdle in particular were the focus of many of the early stories, and have the same capability to reform people, for good in the short term the Transformation Island and prolonged wearing of Venus girdles offered in the longer term. The Venus girdle was an allegory for Marston's theory of sex love training where people can be trained to embrace submission through eroticism. In film, Marston's life is depicted in Professor Marston and the Wonder Women, a biographical drama also portraying Elizabeth Holloway, Marston Olive Byrne, and the creation of Wonder Woman. Woman. Dr. Marston is portrayed in the film by Welsh actor Luke Evans. Brought to you by Wikivd.com. Would you like to know more?